my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today's episode is titled Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Dry Bones Yeah, shake them skeleton bones It's roasted bone marrow What you see in front of me here is I've got three marrow bones You can see I've had them soaking overnight in cold water with plenty of salt in and what that does is draw all the blood out of them bones, dem bones and makes it nice, pure and white. I shall show you a quick picture now what they look like beforehand. And you can see then that it's bought all the blood out and we've got beautiful, creamy, white marrow bones. Two ways you can buy these, obviously split lengthways like these or you can buy them, I know they're not the same one, but whole like that. I think this is better for scooping out the bone marrow. Now, what we're going to serve this with is a classic, well, the classic parsley salad made famous by the genius that is Fergus Henderson. You know, it's a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So all I've done then, I've soaked my bones with the heel of a knife, scraped any residue of meat off. And what we need to do then is get them into a hot oven. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. But as you can see at the moment, that bone marrow is rock hard. You've got to be very careful and watch these because you take it too far, you're just going to end up with empty bones and all that unctuous, beautiful, gelatinous marrow, basically liquid. So we'll check it in 10 minutes. We want it just yielding, pulling away from the bones, warm in the center and nice and jellified. So what I'm going to do in my trusty old school Le Creuset dish. I've got my oven set to gas mark 7. Check there for the conversions. I'm going to put them in and check it after 10 minutes. Right, let's do this. So, while we're waiting for those bones to roast, we want to knock up this salad. Like I said, this is a classic salad invented by Fergus Henderson of St. John Restaurant in Smithfield. And the beauty of this is because you've got your flat leaf parsley, which is a beautiful tasting herb nice and fresh You've got capers lemon juice olive oil cuts through that lovely rich fattiness of the bone marrow i mean it's absolute genius what more do you expect from the man anyway all we're going to do then is roughly chop the parsley you want to be doing this towards the end of the cookery you want it to be as fresh as possible so we're going to chop through these add I've got red onions, you can add shallots, about a tablespoon of drained capers, uh, a tablespoon of olive oil, and about half a tablespoon of lemon juice. So, we shall go for this. Armed and dangerous. where we are that's been in 10 minutes as you can see they're just starting to go look at that just starting to get a wobble on so I don't reckon they'll take much longer about five minutes just coming away from the end just look at that oh yes right need to get our bread on want to choose a decent bread and back in there a sourdough I've got a pan de campagna I think that's how you say it so just some nice slices and then we'll get them in the griddle pan and toast them off right let's build this beautiful thing now before you all start saying out there I have flipped my board and I have washed it remember there's about 20 30 minutes between these frames so don't panic but these marrow bones have been in for 25 minutes and just look how that oh, it's like a heartbeat boo, 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 boo. Isn't that beautiful? That is pure, pure sex on a stick. Right, old asbestos hands. Oh. When you think, you know, I've been in the trade 28 years, we used to give these away. And when you think that these have cost a pound each, you realise that you've been missing a trick. But that is nose to tail cookery. So, got our piece of toast. 
we need to get some of our marabone on there. You can buy those expensive actual marabone. Look at this. Oh, look at it. Scoops, which are very nice, very collectible. As per usual, the Victorians would have uh, solid silver ones. Oh, look at that on there. This I am calling the breakfast of champions because it is the morning. So I'm just going to put a piece of that lovely, fresh, punchy, herby parsley salad on. One of the main ingredients with this is some amazing sea salt for the crunch. And then we are just going to dig in. Oh yeah. That is just ridiculous. Ripping down my chin. Quite a bit on its own. But that salad works so well, cut through. As you can imagine, the fattiness. But I'll tell you what, it's all good. You can see why this is so popular. You know, it's just, when you think you're making this from a, a part of the animal that would be thrown away or given to the dog and you turn it through simple means into a meal that is up there with some of the finest and a lot of chefs say you know this would be their last meal I know Anthony Bourdain is a major fan of this roasted marrow bone but just look at it I mean it don't look much don't get me wrong but the taste I mean it's dirty do you know what I'm saying I feel dirty in a good way well, I do hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project, and I know I say it all the time, but do give this a go. You know, go to your butchers. If you've got a good relationship with your butchers, you'll be surprised. He might give you some marrow bones. Just say, look, mate, cut me some of those marrow bones out the middle of the shin, and he will give you them with a bit of luck. And go home and try this. It really is, you know, well, you're going to be eating a classic. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, I cannot jive any more about it. It's fatty, it's unctuous, it's sexy, it's rock and roll, baby. And if you've enjoyed this episode of the Scott Reed Project, Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Dry Bones, please click subscribe, join me on the journey. Also find me social media, Facebook, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project, and on Twitter, at Scott Reed Project. So until next time, I think I'm going to manage one more with it being breakfast, you know, and that's the way we roll. I lives on the edge, baby. Take care.